the Czechs, the world and European champions in five. And the world silver medalist Portugal in two, and away they go. And as I said, I expect the Czechs, to, uh, not the Czechs, I expect the Czechs to go well, but the Portuguese to get away to a good start. Um, and the French, you can see the French there, talented bunch, as we've said. Uh, that's a good start from them, but in the K4, it's very important. It's this section here, after the start, to really nail, look at that, the Czech crew there. Just nail that rhythm together, that they're all paddling in the same time, they're all singing from the same hymn sheet, driving their legs together, their shoulders together, they're swinging um, their back together. Uh, that's so important in this race here, to keep the synchronicity and the unity. First to 150 metres there, and France on the near side. Dynamic start by them. They really uh, have proved themselves, but of course, now in this second quarter, this is where this rhythm is really important. It is, yes, so important. I mean, this is such a heavy boat. 350 kilos worth of, of boat and paddlers here. It's important that you get into their rhythm, and everybody is working together. And the strong guys in the Czech crew in the middle of the boat will really be looking to push on now. Portuguese, a little bit lighter. Um, they need to keep the tempo up there in lane two, but they've started very well. Yeah, the Czechs now uh, really making their presence felt. Uh, the Spanish just beyond them, just slipping a little bit, the Russians. And now we come to the half distance, and this is where you expect the tactical burns to come in. And the Czechs are right on the money. They are, and I think actually even before the 500, they began to move through. Look at the size of Dostal there, <laughs> number three. He's a huge paddler in the yellow sunglasses, and that strength is really counting and actually look at their faces as well they're fairly relaxed at the moment this is all under control from them really interesting that they've also got uh, the spanish next and just trying to track them and stay with the czechs yes it's all about the the czechs the spanish and the portuguese on the far side russia drifting uh, out of contention at the moment and the spanish uh, being led there by javier hernandez in the bow there just about in silver medal position portuguese in uh, third place but on the near side here uh, you need to uh, keep an eye not on the french but on the polish who are really moving forward and uh, generally out of picture and the crews on the far side might not be aware of the poles uh, on the near side so the czechs on the right the spanish and then the portuguese poland just about moving into fourth place and now the czechs push again and burn and go for the win the reigning world the European champions striding out, building the advantage to Harper Kayak. Portugal coming back, having relaxed, challenging for them. It's the gold medalist and the silver medalist from Moscow last year fighting this out. The Spanish just in the bronze medal position, but it is the world and European champions, the Czech Republic, two goals in a row on this Sunday morning, and they take that ahead of Portugal and Spain, an excellent third and uh, unofficially they've got russia ahead of poland we'll have a look at that on the replay wow that's a great race that one because the czechs were really put under pressure okay start from them nothing particularly special came through very strongly in the middle and i thought i must say that's it they're going to go away and paddle away from the rest of the paddles they had the extra gears they went through them but they're really pushed by the spaniards and the portuguese ro raced very sensibly as well yes they got a good start over in lane two settled and then really came back at the checks over the last 100 meters never that easy because remember this is the first competitive race of the season none of the world cups have happened building up to big events like the european games in baku and the world championships in milan the olympic qualifying so you can imagine that the checks everybody full of expectation but nerves in that boat oh yeah there's quite a lot of pressure on the checks now as you said there they are we, well, we'll be able to see them in picture. Um, uh, there they are. We can see them looking very good there. But there's a lot of expectation on them. You know, nationally, people know about this crew. Um, and uh, they're not traditionally brilliant at the start of the season. So they'll be pleased, I think, to get through that test. Portugal, top of your picture there, coming through to take the silver. Of course, the first World Cup is on their water in Montemor in a couple of weeks' time. You'll be able to see that live on Eurosport with Malcolm and myself. So uh, it could be different uh, in Portugal in a couple of weeks. But well done to the Czech Republic. Two gold medals in a row.